Hey folks, Father Sampati from Siji Virus here. Today we're going to just see a very simple demo on how to create leaf textures or leaf shadows and also cloth shadows in Lux render engine. So you can see some complex stuffs are going on here. Uh, the bleed and the transmission setup and also you can see here in the cloth we are seeing some you know some green uh, bleeding happening here so green scattering happening here so how we should work with it and uh, let me show you the configuration here uh, we are using simple plans for this okay simple plans uh, for uh, both uh, the cloth texture and also the leaf textures I mean the leaf objects all right so let's see how to uh, do this stuff for leaf we are using a very simple PBS shadow here so this is the uh, color information no, we don't need displacement this is the normal and uh, we will need this opacity and uh, roughness okay and uh, for uh, fabric texture we are using a simple base color with some normal and roughness okay so let's see and uh, let's start from the beginning First, let's see how to work with this leaf. So let's get a new texture here, and I'm going for leaf two, and let's assign this leaf two here. So um, let's go to material and uh, let's create a translucent glossy. So I'm going for glossy translucent material, and I'm going to just attach it here. So we will need some images. So let's go for image and let's open these leaf set and I'm going for color information and let's add a 2d map here as well uh, I have already UV this items here so you can see it here uh, maybe we can go to the leaf set this is the this is the one and uh, this is the one okay so yeah so let's uh, go for leaf gamma 2.2 and uh, let's plug it into the diffuse color okay there we go now press ctrl shift d okay and uh, let's go for opacity this is the opacity and uh, gamma 1 and it should go to this section opacity there we go okay and now we will need ctrl shift t and maybe we need uh roughness okay let's do the normal first so check normal map and plug it into the bump and uh, here it is the bumps all right and then ctrl shift d and uh, uncheck this and we're going for our roughness where it is there we go gamma one and <coughs> let's connect it to the roughness socket yeah okay so yeah what i'm seeing that the roughness is pretty high so let's create a ramp node and let's give it some kind of uh, here and maybe something like that a black note yeah yeah something like that it will work okay so um let's create um, yeah let's use use IOR here we're going to use IOR and uh, for IOR we're going to create a value node here because we will need it later so let's create it like that and I'm going to give it 1.25 something like that uh, it's a pretty much a standard in lift setup so let's see it here okay now you can see uh, this one is not working right so what you need to do is basically you need to check 
uh, transmission here okay so for transmission what we need to do you can see the transmission color is will change uh, like that so what you need to do is basically we're going to create a vector math <coughs> and we're going to connect it to color and we're going to connect it to the transmission so now uh, you have a math pretty simple math that is the transmission color should be um, greater uh, than the diffuse color okay so for that I'm going to give it 1.2 or 1.5 to make it much more strong okay um, greater than the diffuse color okay that is it so that's how we can create this stuff here all right so now let's see other things uh, there is multi bounds multi bounds means it will give a uh, fuzzy glossiness that means uh, for cloth and for as well as for you know um, leaf textures uh, it is better to use a multi bounce um, it will create a scattering around the glossiness and it will give it a fuzzy look okay so that's why we're going to use it and I think we could adjust the roughness a little bit yeah this one is pretty good for me it looks good yeah all right well, let's use cubic as well now uh, there are another thing um, some folks ask about what is the absorption color absorption color is basically a coating uh, you will barely need it uh, sometimes you need it in uh, you know mm, uh, what does it say uh, furnitures wooden furnitures we use a uh, coating uh, glossy coating uh, then you can use it but um, we use it barely so we don't need that here so yeah let's disrobe it here doesn't need it and other things are pretty much fine so there is another thing that is called double sided what is double sided let's see the difference here double sided is actually um used for this kind of uh, stuff that is a single plane not uh you know not and it doesn't have any thickness okay that means this is the normal and this is the reverse normal so when you have a reverse normal stuff that means you know no thickness in a geometry you should use a double sided this double sided will give it a different property different property that means you can see that here are BF specular color and BF absorption color and also there is a BF roughness so if I go something like this higher you will see it will give this one kind of property and this inside another kind of property so if you want to use it you can use it and it is good to use um, uh, uh, you know if you have a plane planar uh, setup planar geometry non non thickness geometry you should use um, roughness uh, uh, you know double sided stuff so for this thing what we can do is basically we can use bf use ior as well and we can plug the value on the 1.25 constant value here okay and uh, for the roughness we can also use this or you can uh, you know just uh, if you don't touch it it will uh, use this roughness instead of this roughness and uh, if you want to use something you can use it like that so I'm just lifting leaving it off here because it is using already the this roughness here okay so if you don't change anything uh, if you set it as default okay um, then this roughness will be driven by this roughness okay so you don't have to change anything else and the absorption colors are also you can change all of them here so yeah that's how we created uh, these leaf texture and uh, leafy stuff so yeah now let's see how we can do a cloth setup cloth was actually exactly same so I'm just going to name it cloth 2 and uh, let's create these glossy translucent and I'm going to just go to the material here and let's uh, let's give me the materials first so it is the simple color okay 
so we can give it something like 5 there we go so this is the color this is the roughness and uh, this is the normal map okay so I'm just going to connect all of them here as usual shift color and this is the roughness so just go for roughness these are actually basic things and also you can see the stuff okay it's not working so uh, we will need uh, <coughs> vector math and uh, let's connect it to the vector and we're going to as usual going to give it 1.5 and here we go so it is already done and you can see the scattering stuff is going on okay and also the double sided we can use IOR for this I'm just going for de default okay and yeah that's it actually so uh, sometimes uh, fabric also has some opacity then you can just plug it in here opacity so yeah that's how it is working and what else let's give me some moment okay so uh, what if we have a tick valuation here that means you know uh, tick one so let's try it here you need to let's go to solidify suppose and we have a thickness now and uh, now everything seems to be changed so what you should do is basically uncheck double sided because it is not a double sided material and you can increase your transmission a lot okay then you will get your stuff back something like that all right yeah right that's so I can work with it this is the cyclic way um, yeah all right so now that's it I'm Vatasan Boutique from City Virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye